Look what's arrived! Should we open it? There's actually a lot of items crammed in this bag, but there were only really two things that I needed. You know how it is, everything's so cute. I got this package as part of the influencer program, and my code is right here if you want to save a bit of money or join the program yourself. Okay, I must admit, it's been a few weeks and I don't really remember what's in here. Let's see what the first item is. Okay, this is the biggest item. So we'll get this out now. This is bag, but not just any bag. I've kind of been looking for somewhere to store my art just before I decide what I'm actually going to do with it because at the moment I don't really have a system. So I picked up this A3 bag. I believe it's waterproof and acid free. I was looking for an archival box but they're like really expensive. Like I looked on Jackson's and they're literally just boxes and this wasn't so we're going to give this a go. Honestly that was probably the least fun item but we'll get it out of the way. Now we can get to the little stuff. Oh. Ooh, okay. This is a cute little package for this, honestly. This is a little canvas print of one of my big art inspirations. And I can't believe that they're not already on my wall. This is going to need to be flattened. It's a canvas print. I believe it's pronounced Alfonso Muka. I'm sorry, I probably pronounced that completely wrong. Look how amazing it looks. I don't think the print quality is as good as the Matisse ones I got in the last haul. But I mean, it's such a good piece of art that it looks amazing anyway. Isn't that going to look great on the wall? This is like the final addition to the wall and then the wall will be complete. I mean it's kind of cute that it like came in a little roll as well. Nice, I'm happy with that. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is, I think, oh, I don't know what this is. This is not what I thought it was. We've got some rainbow color pencils. I've already got some. I did get some last time, but see if you can spot the difference. These ones are actually color themed. It's not like a pure rainbow. You can see that they're themed. I mean, we've got to give them a go. I got the eight set. These ones are also a bit bigger. They're kind of jumbo. Oh, that's going to be really difficult to try and control, but I guess the kind of point is that you don't blue yellow green which i like this one i think is like pink purple or orange so my thinking is if i use them outside maybe i'm not gonna end up with too crazy of a color maybe this one for like sky and land and then this one for like buildings i don't think it can go too wrong this one is a bit random oh i think this one might be kind of primaries ah oh, this one's lovely this one is like red orange and yellow this one's just pink and purple but that's really nice this is what they all look like i think my favorites are probably these two i mean obviously we're not going to be creating mind-blowing pieces with these pencils but if you're going to like a museum or something it's actually really helpful because then you only need to take like two pencils with you and you get a lot of colors so i think these are gonna be a lot of fun should we see what's next Ah yes, this is the one thing that I placed the entire order for. I mean, technically I needed the bag too. Clips, because, I mean, can you guess what these are going to be for? These little clips are going to be for my pegboard. You know, I'm an artist. Of course I need these little clips to clip onto paint tubes and hang them on my pegboard. Okay, these aren't really art related, but I got some lint-free wipes for my nails. I actually tried nail art for the first time yesterday on gels, and I need to show you. And you see how cute these are? It's really subtle, but there's like little bits of orange glitter. That's the only relevant thing though. Ooh! If you know me, you'll know that I am obsessed with little fake stamps. I like real stamps too, but they're expensive. Just trying to show you why is it being so difficult. What is going on there? Do you see that? The corner ripped a little bit. But there's this random one here that I don't think's come from anywhere. I think that's a random extra one. So maybe we should put it somewhere. Let's stick it in the doodle diary because this is already such a random page. So we didn't actually gain anything. We actually lost two stamps. I mean, the big one's a little bit blurry, but the rest of them are really cute, aren't they? And that's where it loops. I like this one. And I like that one. I just like cute stickers. Should we see what's next? Oh, okay. I didn't know this was going to come with a little ruler thingy, but the reason I got this was actually for journaling. These little sticky notes are kind of translucent and they look really good added to journal pages. Like I'll show you. Not the best example. I used it for the 5k spread and you can see it just adds a little bit of color. So this time I got the brighter set. If you stick down various pages and you just want a little bit of extra something, I mean, they're pretty cheap. I think they're a good idea. 
Oh, I forgot about these. If you've seen my other hauls, you are completely not going to be surprised by these. I got myself some lovely little pink butterflies. Oh, that one's gorgeous. Oh, these ones are little. They're cute. I'm a sucker for hollow stickers. I just think they're so pretty. And I have already got these. I have a little blue one on my doodle diary, but it is kind of falling apart because I've used it, well, like 270 days or something now. I think these are just so cute for the price so now i have blue and pink butterfly stickers this next one is a big thing this is okay it's not that big it's a little cutting mat so that when i use the create this book i actually have something to lean on and i'm less likely to hurt myself there is something to go with that i'll see if i can find it i think it's this one and you'll see why i thought this was that one earlier it's a little craft knife is that supposed to happen? Just needed to be tightened. It's all good. I got a new little craft knife. The one I've got currently has like a little switch that you have to hold it open. So when I use this one, I'll be able to just use it as is, which I think will make it less likely for me to injure myself because I did injure myself in one of the episodes. Ready and prepared to not injure myself. And that's why I thought the padding was that. There's still a lot in here. Let's see what the next one is. Ooh, oh, this is a nice size. I believe this is journal paper. Delicious autumn, my very soul is wedded to it, and if I were a bird, I would fly about the earth seeking the successive autumns. Okay. There's so many pages. I also like that they're like little landscapes because I don't really have any papers like this. Certainly not of this size. A lot of them are quite surreal or they're just like butterflies or notes or planets or something. Oh wow, how many do we get? It might be that. It might be 228 or 200. That's a lovely size. I'm just, yeah, it's 200. <laughs> Next we've got, ooh, I forgot about these. I got some more little stickers. Like a starry night kind of theme. Ooh, oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, that's kind of like steampunk. I love the border, the color of it. I think these are fantastic. So both me and my partner are really into using mixed media and kind of creating collages and fun stuff. And we're also the kind of people that won't use an art supply if it feels like we're wasting them. Like really expensive mediums, stickers if we don't have many. So the more I have in the less wasteful it feels so that's the logic next up this is quite an exciting one this was a random choice so I didn't know which one I was gonna get it's actually my first pet tape and this one's kind of steampunk themed I think oh that's cute I might try and keep that so I think it's like a roll of sticky tape and then you kind of use your craft knife and you go around it and you cut it out i thought i would give pet tape a try now that i've got a proper knife and cutting board i mean the only problem really is they've kind of cut this person's head right in half i don't really know what i'm gonna do with that one what's this it's honestly been a few weeks so i don't really remember I'm trying to work out what this is oh oh Oh, oh, that's just the box. Okay. Oh, I did get a second pet tape. This is the other one that I got. That is such a pretty box. I was confused. I thought the flowers might be part of the design of whatever I ordered. This one's going to be a lot easier to cut because it will probably just be a straight line. So I think this one will be decoration at the side of a page. It's got like words and flowers and lace on the side. I think that's really pretty. Still got quite a few pieces. Next up we've got, this is a really simple one, but I do have an idea. I got a little set of sticky notes, but I'm probably not going to use them as sticky notes. I'm actually going to use them like journal paper. The way that I was thinking is sometimes I like to stick random pages together like this one, and I think that's where this will fit in really well. Like this one as well. These were super cheap, and I think if we have pieces with designs on, these will complement very well. So I'm actually going to be using it for journaling. Oh, and by the way, this is my daily doodle diary. I'm drawing it every single day this year and if you want to catch the episodes we've got quite a few up already there's an entire playlist that I'll leave down below it's a little pack of stickers honestly would have been perfect at the start of the year for the bullet journal there's just a load of really fun letters that kind of look like cutouts we're definitely going to use up some letters a lot earlier than others which is why I don't tend to go for this sort of thing usually but I think it would be really cool to put like on the front of a sketchbook or something just a ton of random little alphabet stickers is not going back in. I told you this was a big haul, right? We're still going. We've got... 
This is a little bit like the sticky notes. You kind of need to use your imagination. I mean, they're very small. I can use as labels. I don't actually have any currently, so I can use them as that. But also, if I'm doing a collage, I can just stick like random colors in just to make it a little bit more fun. And there's like 500 stickers there. The last item is... Oh, this final one also looks like a pet tape. I'm now going into my pet tape era. It actually kind of looks a bit smaller as well. Yeah, that is a little bit smaller. This one is blue flowers. I'll have to figure out how I'm going to use these. I didn't realize I got free, but I guess I really wanted to try them. And this is everything that we've picked out. What do you think? What's your favorite item? I think mine might be these papers. Thank you for joining me for another haul. These are always a lot of fun and I do get some new faces so make sure you subscribe if you're new here and we've actually got a lot of haul videos in the playlist now so make sure you check that out there's also more to come we've got my birthday haul and another one for the art wall have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see you on sunday with a new video Bye bye